welcome, welcome replayers. Oh, so nice to see you. It's lovely to start the week with you all. How lovely. Freddie's here. If you notice, oh, I said his name. We had furniture moving yesterday and he's got a bigger chair. But he wasn't comfy, was he? Because it's not just on a Monday I sit here. It's it's also um, during the week I sit I sit here. I craft in so many different areas of the house, but I do sit at the desk. So he likes to come and sit with me. So <laughs> we're all organised. He didn't like the furniture moving part of it yesterday. He got a little bit confused. <laughs> oh, and here come the people coming into the live chat. Oh, I was just saying hi to the replayers, everyone. Teresa, good morning. And Ali, oh, good morning. I'd like to say welcome. It's Monday morning and we're starting the week together. And I couldn't think of a better way to start my week than with you. Um, Teresa, your your um your drawing and painting of your orchid, the lemon coloured orchid, Teresa, outstanding, absolutely amazing. I think it's on Phipsville, isn't it? Oh, I loved it. So if you haven't seen Teresa's drawing and painting of an orchid, oh, hop over to um, Fibsfell. Absolutely beautiful. And I think you put it on Instagram as well, didn't you, Teresa? Oh, and there's my Bob. Good morning. Oh, happy Monday to you all. Oh, I love that. And Melissa. Hi, Melissa. I've been collecting some horse pictures for you, Melissa. How is your new glue book coming along, Melissa? Oh, yes, Jean, happy Monday to you too. Oh, how lovely. I can't believe it's Monday already. Doesn't seem possible, does it? Oh, it was coloured with pencils. It's absolutely beautiful. And I, oh, absolutely adore the lemon coloured or yellow that you used. Oh. Teresa, beautiful. I think at this time of year with spring just around the corner, it's really nice to have yellowy colours, isn't it, to remind us. I think our lovely Barbara all the way over in Canada, you've got a little while to wait for spring, but let me assure you, spring will come. <laughs> Probably a bit too early to start talking about that because I know that I've really been thinking about uh, everybody that I know in in America this week oh this last week you've had such a time haven't you all our especially our friends in Texas good morning Laura oh yes let's start the week together oh I love that and there, oh, and Candy, good morning, Candy. And Peggy, oh, yes, Peggy's saying good morning to Freddie, who has a new chair, well, dragged in from another room. Melissa, oh, Melissa, come on in and we'll we'll have an, we'll just start the week gently together. Da, good morning, good morning to you and Dear Grace, oh, Nashua, look at that, and Mary Lou, Nashua, welcome, welcome. I trust week by week that you are healing and getting better. Uh, we call biscuits scones. Oh, it's a scones mix, is it, Teresa? Teresa and I have been discussing um, recipes, haven't we, on Facebook? <laughs> we do, but I'm going to try your ones because you made them with sour cream. And I did like the sound of that. Was that in Beth's group? There's Tina. Good morning, Tina. Uh, 
we were in Tina's live on Sunday. It was absolutely fab. We had a wonderful time. You had some vintage embroidery to, to show us, didn't you, Tina? It's lovely. Oh, and there's Rhonda. Good morning. And Rhonda, how are you? And how is your family? Oh, so nice to see you. Oh, it's, it's a throne for Barbara's Prince, I know. Even so, he's putting his, I think it's because his head slipped through the other chair. It was just too small. So that's been dragged through in the living room and we've swapped round now. <laughs> Only the best for Freddie. <laughs> Oh, Gail, good morning. Oh, so nice to see you, Gail. Come on in and we'll just start the week together. How lovely. And there's Mitzi. Hi. Hello. So nice to see you. Really nice. And if you were here with us in the background, absolutely, we all welcoming you. And I, I'm just... Sit back, relax if you're feeling a little bit anxious or if you're trying to just get on and think, I don't want to type in the chat. I want to get on with what I'm doing. Mary Lou, you're just saying hello and you're going to your daughter's to watch the boys while she works. She's working from home, but Mondays are busy. Oh, it's so, oh, I'm so pleased that you're able to help her in that way. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, and thank you for popping in, Mary Lou. And if you get a chance to pop over to Mary Lou's um, Instagram page, you will see her crochet. Isn't it coming on, Mary Lou? Goodness me. I think you're just on the border now, aren't you? Samantha, good morning to you. Come on in, come on in and just relax. I'm doing slow stitching today, but maybe you are just waking up, having a coffee, or you're starting a new page in your journal. That's you today. You're playing, so not typing or reading chat, but saying hello. And Laura's saying that she loves us all and that she's listening. Oh, Laura, yes. Oh, just before you um, go hide, uh, you get on, Laura, did you see Lisa and Tanya yesterday? Or was it in the week? I caught up with it yesterday. This is just a... A storage idea because I know you're looking for that sort of idea. Uh, made a bobbin out of two playing cards and wa winding wool round. I thought, oh, that is that looks fab. And I know that you like the playing cards. Oh, Dorinda, good morning. Oh, you're spending a little bit of time with us and hopefully for yourself Dorinda before you have to start looking after everybody else for the day. Oh, oh Eileen, thank you for popping in Mary Lou's. Um, you're almost on the border, yes. Oh, do nip over. Mary Lou's doing some sort of challenge, aren't you Mary Lou? You have to do something every day for 100 days and post it. And you have been doing crochet squares. Very, very busily doing that. Oh, Candy's saying hi to anybody that she missed. Oh, that's lovely. And do type in capitals to me so I don't miss what you're saying. <laughs> oh, Rhonda. Oh, Rhonda always asks us how we're doing, don't you? That's so sweet of you. Oh, so what am I making today? And who have I been inspired by in the last week? I Oh, so a lot of you have been watching Beth, Beth Shuler, and I don't know what day it was. Was it Tuesday or Thursday? 
But when the when this video has processed, I will leave a link below to Beth Beth's group. I mean to Beth's videos. <laughs> Oh, Mary Lou, you're doing the 100-day project, having to post pictures every day. Is keeping, oh, keeping you accountable. Oh, Mary Lou. Um, that's why it's going fast. Oh, it's fantastic, though. It's going to be beautiful. It's very colourful. Everything I've been looking at has got um, some amazing colours. Am I missing anybody? Yes, I am. Mrs. Gigi. Hello. Good afternoon to Mrs. Gigi. Mrs. Gigi has already had quite a busy day, I would imagine. Are you just sitting down now, Gigi? Mrs. Gigi, I like to think of you as doing a little bit of slow stitching on one of your Hashtag 52 tags. <laughs> oh, Janet USA. Good morning. Come on in, Janet. We've only just started. Come on in. Oh. Oh. That's it. And I'm re I'm sewing and I'm reading the chat all at the same time. I don't want to miss any. Thank you, Eileen. Oh, look, Eileen. Oh, bless you. Popping in links today. I am very grateful. Don't feel any pressure, though, if you want to uh, rest back either. That's kind of you. And Angie, oh, Angie, good morning. Hi, ladies. Janet, you had to go to the post office. You'll be home in about 30 mins. Oh, that's fantastic. Don't worry, I won't start snack time without you, Angie. We'll wait. <laughs> we'll wait for you. You get home after the post office and we'll sit, sit together. We'll all sit together. Oh, let me just you can show that Nashua saying good morning Janet US <laughs> did you see the sweet video Roy oh thank you Peggy because that came this morning I haven't written that down oh you are so good reminding me I watched Roy made a video because I sent him he, he won the little prize draw at the end didn't he I sent him just a little flat envelope but with one of our community tags in. And he made a video. Oh, I was, oh, tears, tears. Oh, Nettie, hi, come on in. Oh, you're just in time, Nettie. We're just relaxing and starting the week together. Oh, look, there we are. <laughs> oh, come on in, Nettie. I'm stitching, but... You glue along or pop your feet up or get on with your cleaning. Maybe I saw somebody saying hello to Aunt Bex and, and then now I've missed it. Aunt Bex, good morning. Aunt Bex is doing her fly lady cleaning. 15 minutes cleaning, 15 minutes playing. Is that right, Aunt Bex? She takes us with us from room to room. Here's Sue Hennessy from the UK over in Bristol, or down in Bristol, should I say. Wow, Sue. Sue posed us a little problem last week of the space bar on her typewriter. I looked on eBay, Sue. Nothing there. But I've had some ideas. Now, you know polystyrene that you can get. Oh, good morning, Laurie. Good morning. I'm just uh, interrupting myself because I don't want that to go up the chat. Oh, I like to think of Laurie painting. I like to watch Laurie painting because you're very relaxing. And I'm just watching your Same Six Wednesday video, Laurie. You're doing an amazing job. I will talk about that later, actually. But for the minute, I was just saying to Sue, if we welcome Sue from Bristol, UK, 
joined our, in our chat for the first time last week, didn't you, Sue? Now, I thought on the space bar, you've probably got metal bits. I thought you could either cut and sand balsa wood, which is very light. They use that in model making. You could probably get it online and pop, make some little holes and pop that onto the space bar. Or you could get some polystyrene or plastic um, packaging and form cut with a, a hot knife maybe the polystyrene and make cover it in PVA so it doesn't flake everywhere to make a space bar. You posed you posed me a problem and I've been thinking about it, Sue. <laughs> oh. Sue's saying yes, very politely, but do let us know how you get on. <laughs> and there is our Cheryl. Oh, look at you. you. Cheryl's just woken up, popped in to say hi, but you're going to be listening, maybe drifting back off to sleep. Hmm. Oh, there we are. Sue says, what a great idea. Where's hubby? <laughs> oh, balsa wood shouldn't take too um it shouldn't cost too much because it's very it's terribly light, isn't it? Mm. <laughs> oh Bob saying cock a doo 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 <laughs> waking you up, Cheryl. Oh. <laughs> oh dear. So Jana, yes, get some, Janet says, get some coffee. Oh. So I'm sure so many of you have been watching our wonderful bear. Mm. The school woke you up at 5 a.m. with a snow delay, then at 7 a.m. with closing. Oh, you gave up on sleep. Oh, gosh, Dorinda, goodness me. The teachers were all, oh, the principal was up early as well. Gosh. So it's a snow day, but probably doing work online, I would imagine. So Beth has been making dolls, beautiful paper dolls. And I thought, how inspiring. So I thought I would make paper dolls tags out of fabric. <laughs> oh, there we are. So there's my little... Oh, oh your daughter's online. Yes. Oh, thank you, Eileen. I did enjoy making her. She's quite abstract because I haven't done hair. I put some of this ticking pillow ticking did i hear someone say that oh thank you mitzi so darling and adorable oh how lovely thank you samantha <laughs> oh and i've put a little bow in her hair and this is her and i've sewn some buttons on and she's got just a very cut it out any which way she's got a fab vintage fabric dress from one of melanie's Melanie's mother or sister and she has a little pocket too because she may need to keep things in and I've put a little cupcake or you might like to call that a muffin but Sue and I would call that a cupcake wouldn't we Sue? <laughs> oh Sue if you're here at snack time I've made rock buns. <laughs> That's a nice English old-fashioned thing. Oh, Laura, she's just very, very easy to make. And she's got some little Mary Jane shoes on. I will, oh, we're going to go over if you want to make one. We can. <laughs> oh, Kathy, hi. Good morning. Welcome. Come on in. Freddie and I are just relaxing and chatting. Nettie, you tried to make one but can't do brads. Oh, because of your nails. Well, I 
I haven't done brads. I have sewn buttons. Would would that be easier? Even if you were making fabric, because it's lovely to have um, buttons on your fab on your paper pieces, Nettie. Try that. Are are your fingers able to sew? A muffin is a cupcake without the icing. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> you have a yard full of robin. They oh, you have your yard is full of robins. They're grabbing the worms that surface when it pours like this. Oh, I love little robins. And you have cardinals too, don't you, Aunt Bex? Oh, oh, Aunt Bex, wasn't that amazing? And to think we've been walking past that for two months. It's just a little lesson and we need to open our eyes. <laughs> Later on in the stream, if you remind me, I think I'd like to make a tag and pop it in plastic to put out in the park. Obviously, I will look after that and I won't let the plastic rot down. I will bring the plastic back when it disintegrates. But... <laughs> That what it was very special, you know. I'm a hippie. I love a smiley face or a peace sign. <laughs> and there's Anne. We do, don't we, Anne? <laughs> Come on in. Anne likes that sort of thing too. Um, Eileen likes cupcakes without icing. Well, Eileen, I in the description box below, I put my rock cake or rock bun recipe. It's a very basic wartime family recipe that's been that we love <laughs> and here's another little little girl she's got a little bit of hair there and I've given her some little eye slitty eyes nothing very complicated just like Beth's but my ones are made from fabric and you can see she's got some tape measure legs here and that was in my slow stitch kit, that material. I do believe that it's Tim Holtz. And I've given her a little petticoat too. <laughs> and this is some 1950s, 1960s style fabric. Oh, thank you. Oh, Cheryl, it was our lovely Beth doing her paper dolls that um that that inspired me. And she has a little cupcake just underneath her pocket too. So I'm going to be making another tag. So I've got two here. I'm going to be making another one. So I've made the legs. I was sewing those as everybody was coming in, just a little piece and folded over. It's slow stitching. It's not embroidery. It doesn't have to be precise. And it's not going to go in the wash, so it doesn't have to be that well sewn. Now I'm just going to try to find a little piece of fabric. Oh, wow. Let's go with some vintage fabric here. In your mind, cupcakes is much lighter cake than muffins. Yes, it is, Jean. You are so right. It's a sponge mix like Victoria's Bunch. Yes. Yes, you are. Jean knows her English cakes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, thanks, Peggy. Oh, it's just when Beth was um, making them, I thought, I, I want to make one of those in fabric. <laughs> so let's let's try and make these. Do you call these Mary Jane shoes? When they just got that little bit that comes comes over the top like with a little bucket oh there we are our lovely Anne is making a slow stitch um teapot tea cozy aren't you Anne wonderful wonderful so cut yourself if you do want to make one of these and you do want to see how I made these shoes. I, I mean, you can make the shoes however you want. And let's see how a, 
how wide her little dear little tape measure legs are. Put the legs there. And let's see. Muffins can be sweet or savoury. Oh, yes, they can actually. Savoury muffins are gorgeous. We do. Ha I didn't have muffins over here when I was a child, but they have made their way over here now. Oh, yes, a breakfast muffin is yummy. So I'm working with two bits so I can get them symmetrical. I've folded it over and I'm just going to go around here just to make the bottom round like so. It's dinky, isn't it? But I'm not bringing you close in because I do realise you're here more for Freddie than me. <laughs> it's so true, though. <laughs> oh. Oh, st oh, that's fantastic. Oh, it's always good to have storage solutions. Oh, what was that? From Gail Gustinelli. Oh, will people be able to find the video? Because people love storage ideas, don't they? And then I fold it. I'm not, I'm not talking to you, am I? I fold it over a bit, like so, and cut a little bit out. And that makes the shoe. Like that. That's what her shoes are like. <laughs> and then I just sew them onto her little legs. And then we, I then I pop a little a bit of bow round with embroidery floss. Actually, you can't see that one. Let me let me show you that one. She's got oversized laces. <laughs> oh. Too cute, too cute. Now, I have here, I have here some needles that are already threaded. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, so organised. Oh, and it just happens to be orange thread. Angela, good morning. Come on in. We are just creating some little fabric tags here with little little fabric dolls on <laughs> inspired by our dear friend Beth. <laughs> oh stinking adorable <laughs> I like that Kimberly <laughs> how's beef today Kimberly oh he hasn't been out yet for his walk Freddie came home from his walk this morning we met up with Ben came home from his walk and it was the first time in absolute months that I didn't have to wipe the mud off him. He, was, he wasn't wet or muddy. Can you believe that? Because even when, hello, Sharon. Hi. Good morning. Come on in. We're just doing a little bit of stitching. But I would imagine, Sharon, you're, you're doing painting or gluing. Ah. Oh. It's just starting your day, probably. <laughs> oh, I'm doing a little bit of slow stitching. Now, on, I think it was our Laura, Jersey Crafter, on her, I have so much to tell you after a week, when I've been away from you for a week. <laughs> on Laura's Instagram page, I think this was, she said she was sewing for joy. And I thought, oh, that is so lovely. What a lovely way to put it, sewing for joy. So it is a little bit like sew and don't think. It, it really is. Although I'm making a doll, I'm literally just throwing stitches here, nothing. Mm. Oh, oh, how lovely. I'm glad you caught me live too. Oh, fantastic, Sharon. Really good. I'm, I'm so pleased that you can start your day with myself, Freddie, and everybody in the chat. That's really lovely. <laughs> really lovely. 
So I'm just sewing on a shoe. If only it was that easy to go shoe shopping, that we could just sew on a little shoe. <laughs> there we are. Now, there's one of her legs, and that's that's the little shoe on there before the bow. So her little, little bit of tape measure leg shows through, like she's got bottles. <laughs> this is the, yeah, I know, I know. Shall I just go right over the other side? Yeah, I will. Yes. Come on, Jana. It's not all about you. <laughs> It's about Freddie, I know. Oh, whenever you do anything and you don't think, it is a state of joy right now. Painting for joy, it's like, yeah, filling in the blank for joy. I know. I, you know, I absolutely love that. And I will be monkeying that saying, Laura. I, I really am. When I'm painting or sewing, because when I'm, I know I'm doing fiddly diddly bits now, but when I was making her dress, I was literally sewing, oh, sewing for joy, loving that. Oh, well done. Oh, Al Laura always coins a phrase. I love that. We had the jersey flip pocket, didn't we? <laughs> Oh, 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 had to reboot. Oh, oh, to Cheryl. Oh, you, that's just not what you need first thing in the morning. You just want to wake up, um, wake up slowly and gradually. Oh, so what is on everybody's desks or minds this week? Oh, oh, yes, Peggy, what, oh, what an absolutely amazing idea. So I would do that. I'm, I'm going to do that for next week. Yes. Apron. Yes. Oh, absolutely loving that. Oh, needs an apron. Oh. Why, why didn't I think of that? Oh, I love that idea. I love it. We're here to give each other ideas, and I love that. Mm. Oh, Kimberly said, watch a video from Twisted Art Designs. She just made some adorable scrappy paper dolls. Oh, okay. Oh, how super. Um, I will... I won't write that down now because I've been reviewing my chats. So I will, as you can see, I'm finding it hard to get this tied in. Um, I will, I will look at those. Yeah, Aunt Beth loves making paper dolls. I think she's best going to be making some for the UK Journal. Ah, oh, there you go. Oh, you're back in very good time for um, snack. It's not even snack time yet. You've got time to just take your coat off and settle yourself in. There's the there's the shoe, and then you pop. I, I will do. I will show you what I do for the little shoe before we move on. Let me see if I can get some. Some, I need something that's threaded already. Hold on. Here's some. No. I, oh, well, I can thread. Threading when you're live. <laughs> mm. Oh, he does, Kathy. We had to change the furniture around because everybody in the chat last week were very right. That chair was no good for him. And he is so tired after his walks and he's he's so cozy sitting here with us isn't he <laughs> oh so and then i literally just pop some thread in and tie keep it long so it's not too fiddly <laughs> 
Freddie is in the zone, isn't he? He certainly is. <laughs> oh. Oh, okay. Angie says she lives about three blocks away from town. So it wasn't that far. So you walked, I presume, Angie. Um, yes. And then you tie a fiddly diddly bow. If I'm missing someone, like I miss Mary Beth all stream once, do, do let me know. Shout at me. <laughs> while I'm here tying a bow let's pull that through with a little pin and probably when I'm on camera no it's not, not things aren't as easy to do are they Kathy when you're on stream oh you didn't walk because it was raining oh no you didn't want to get wet through no because it's so cold with with you all in America at the moment Sending you guys loads and loads of love, hoping that you get your electricity back. And there we are. I it's not that brilliant a bow. I will have to go back in later. <laughs> I'm going to go back in. Oh, there you go. Cheryl's got. Oh, Cheryl's got her coffee. And then I just did do a little nod to hair behind that. And I put some fabric and a dress. And I just then sew it on with the buttons. Sew an arm on. <laughs> oh, Barbara's singing in the rain. Oh, yes. Singing in the rain. Do, 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 do. I wonder whether our lovely... Our lovely Angie was singing in the rain. Maybe not. <laughs> it's not so nice when you're in it. Oh, I love that movie, don't you, Barbara? Oh, the old ones are the best, aren't they? Mm. Susie, hi. Oh, and is there Roy there? Are people saying hi to Roy? Is that Roy coming in? Why do people say that? It's hard on live streams. When we all have the same problem, anytime trying to thread a needle. Oh, that's true, Nettie. It's so true. It, yes. Uh, to be honest, our eyes aren't getting any younger, are they? Mm. <laughs> Am I making excuses, Nettie? Probably. There's me threading a needle now. Goodness me, will that needle go through the button? Oh, yes, I love that button. And then it's just a case of... Ah, oh, there's Galen. Good morning, Galen. Oh, so nice to see you. And if... Don't let me forget later, Galen. Oh, gosh, Galen's literally just come in and I'm giving Galen instructions already. <laughs> I don't want to forget to, to talk about our lovely Liz's live tonight. That's what I need to be reminded later. I'm reminding you now and then later. Oh, Roy, thank you. You even did a map, didn't you? Oh, I loved it. I loved the video you made. Oh, thank you. That was so kind of you. Oh, I loved the map and the little letter with a heart on it. Absolutely beautiful. I'm tying a knot, which is easier than a bow. And for me, I want to make the buttons scrappy because this is like the scrappy bird. This is a little scrappy doll. <laughs> You're one scrappy doll. <laughs> oh, it was fun. Oh, yes, you did. You did. You did find a bird that looked like the tag. Yes, yes, you did. I loved it. Thank you, Roy. That's so kind of you <laughs> to do that. Oh, so I just snipped those off. And then I leave the 
little, and, and then tease these threads out. You can sew your button on normally, but it's quite nice to have it scrappy because she's a little scrappy doll, just made out of little snippets. Only snippets big enough for to make jackets for mice, <laughs> as my Beatrix Potter story says. So I on with you today, I've made a an arm. Oh, the arm was just some fabric folded where it was just an edge. Mm. Well, Eileen says, got to go, but you'll see you all at Lizzie's. Eileen, thank you for coming in and thank you for all the links you posted. Have a restful and creative day, Arlene. Oh, goodbye, Arlene. And I loved the doll you made out of the wooden um, little bits and pieces that you had, Arlene. Absolutely lovely. <laughs> well, Dorinda says, now you've got a clean tape, you've got to clean, clean your tabletop so you can put the new drawers on it. Oh. Oh, you've got to make space, of course. Yeah, piles and piles of stuff. Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. <laughs> oh, and there's Laurie, Laurie B. Oh, come on in. Laurie's here, Freddie. Yeah. <laughs> come on in. We're just, we're just making little scrappy dolls. So put the arms on just with buttons, and I'll do the same with the legs. And then it's just a case of sewing on her dear little head and doing some eyes, maybe putting a petticoat on. And later, I'm going to make another one with an apron on because that's that was a fantastic um, suggestion, um, Peggy. Fantastic. So I'm going to put these away now. If you have any questions about making them, do message me or ask me questions now. I'll pop those there, pop those there. And here's the one that I'm making. What an absolutely adorable idea to do. Um, oh, hello, Meljoy. Oh, here's Meljoy. I made... Um, a little fabric doll, Maljoy. Do you recognise this fabric behind here? <laughs> That's from your collection, isn't it, Melanie? <laughs> oh. oh, Roy, yes. Do you know, that watching Nikki play with Freddie in that video brought me so much joy when I was watching it back. Just to sh see the pure joy and abandon of Nikki and Freddie playing. So it's wonderful, isn't it? Oh, I loved it. <laughs> yes, you recognise it, Melanie. Isn't it lovely? I use it with joy and sparingly, but I don't hoard it, I use it. <laughs> oh, this is one of our community tags. Things on that tag that I've received from lots of people in the community. Recognise this one too. Oh, there's Ben. Oh, hi, Ben. <laughs> Good morning, Ben, dear. Come on in. <laughs> Ben's already seen Freddie today, haven't you, darling? <laughs> oh, Ben was having a run in the park and we were having a walk and it was beautiful, beautiful day. Can I not close? This is my slow stitch to go kit from our lovely Brook. Isn't it wonderful? <laughs> and I expect Brooke will be having those in her Etsy shop soon. Pop that up there. So I'm going to put this lovely little cloth. Oh, you didn't see the little flower on it. Machine embroidery. That was from a dear friend of mine in the States. Now, uh, your name will come to me in a minute. Um, oh, for goodness sake. It'll come to me. It'll come to me. <laughs> oh, so now, 
couple of weeks ago or, or maybe a month ago, I did some organising. Now, Ben will say, this isn't like me, Ben, is it? I used your label maker. When he moved out of home, he left. If, if he left stuff, it's mine now. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. The label maker's mine. I made a, I made a label mini journals. Can you believe that, Ben? <laughs> I'm actually doing some sorting and tidying and labelling. It's not like me at all. <laughs> oh, you had a Christmas raggedy Anne and, and a, a raggedy Andy. Oh, how lovely. Oh, and you're making those. They, they never. Oh. I, I didn't catch up with all that you were saying, Dorinda. You're making some raggedy rag dolls. Oh, that's amazing. You had a busy time, actually, just before Christmas, didn't you, um, Dorinda? Yes. Yeah. Oh. Dorinda's saying hi to Janet. Yeah, such a surprise, Ben says, to see that I'm tidying up. No, it's not like me at all. See the rest of the room. Mm. <laughs> we'll have to have a live video where I show the rest of the room, which is the dining room, isn't it, Ben? <laughs> so in here, I've got all the bits I've been saving to make my mini journals. We did these ages ago. This was when we made the Franken paper, wasn't it? So. I thought, let's, oh, how lovely. Oh, isn't that lovely? I haven't done anything in it, I don't think. I thought I'll sew this together and then we will, yeah, let's sew this together. And then I've got a tin full of pictures that I've been saving. Oh, and I've got these. Oh, you'll recognize these. These are probably American. We had these for Christmas from Katie Cat. And I thought, oh, those will make lovely journal covers. So anything to do with mini journals, I've just been throwing in this tin. <laughs> so I'm just going to do the pamphlet stitch. I've got my awe. This is from Grandpa Papa's toolbox then. So I'll just do this. One. There. Two. Oh, I'm being a little bit haphazard because it's just a little envelope journal. So <laughs> we don't have to be too careful. If I had a paper clip, that would be that would be a good idea. I've got one of these little clips. I'll just pop clip that on like that. I'll thread my needle. Nettie said that we all struggle. Do, um, doing needles. Oh, Nashua. Yes. And I'm going to fill it with all the positive. I've got these in my book, all the positive quotes from last week. I'm going to put in, in, um, in the journal and then it'll wing its way off. Yes. So I'm hoping to finish this this week. And we'll pop the quotes in next week. Janice. Oh, Janice, did I miss you coming in? Oh, Janice. Oh, have a have a safe journey to work and a safe, a safe and productive time at work. And then hopefully you'll be back home. You'll be able to put your feet up later, Janice. Oh, Janice, thank you for being here with us. Bye, Janice. Oh. Let's have a positive quote, shall we, from last week. I'm going to go like this, and then we'll just point to one. How do you spell love, said Piglet? You don't, said Pooh. You feel it. Isn't that lovely? That was our Barbara who said, said that one. <laughs> Isn't that lovely? It's really nice to have some positive quotes. I'll leave those open, but I will be, I shall be re-typing those. I'm, 
is it is there an upside down or a right way round? I don't know. So pop the needle through the middle hole. I'm leaving the strings because I want to be like our lovely Lizzie Brewer. She puts heart strings in, doesn't she? And then come up through this hole. Might not be easy because I haven't paper clipped it down. Oh, and it came. I can always use the excuse, Nettie, that I'm doing it live if it goes wrong. Ex I don't want your excuses, says Nettie. <laughs> oh, Erin, hello. Oh, thank you, Erin. Thank you. It brought back memories for some people and... I think Ben, I don't think Ben heard the typewriter, but I know when Ben, Ben's of an age where he'd never seen a mechanical typewriter, when I first got it, was absolutely fascinated by it. And how hard you have to press the keys down, unlike a keyboard. And then you come up through the middle again, here, Obviously not a brilliant tutorial. On the other side, because it's not. <laughs> the other side of there, pull it up like that. And I'll use the fabric scissors for this. And we'll just tie that, pop that there like that. Pop that there. And I'm going to tie a knot. <laughs> There's Nettie. <laughs> you don't video. Too scared. Oh, yeah. Oh, Nettie, you're so lovely. <laughs> oh, I didn't think about videoing until I've always wanted to. Beth did encourage me. Our dear Beth Shula did encourage me quite a lot to do that, to, to go to. Yeah, she did. She did. And. I didn't know I could do it because I, I have a problem with understanding speech because of my head injury. But I could talk to you all because you, you're not speaking to me. You're writing it down. <laughs> oh, hello, Brooke. How nice to see you. Oh, I've just been using your slow stitch kit. I've just been... I've just... I've just popped it down on top of the bin, Brooke. <laughs> We've been doing some stitching. Now we're on to gluing. <laughs> and, and this is where you find that you've already stuck some pictures in, but that's fine. Oh, and just by chance, I didn't know I'd stuck any pictures in it. Oh, oh, wow. Okay. I put it the right way around. Do you know? I love it. I love it when things just go right like that. <laughs> That's so funny. We could have put it the other way around and taken the tree off. I love it when a plan comes together. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh, Janet, that is profound information for speech therapists. E uh, yes, it, it is more for yes. Probably not speech therapists for the young, but speech therapists, yes. I have had um, therapy, yes. Um, for, uh, oh, you know, so you can see now because this is um, not talking about sewing or anything I was thinking about. Um, yes. Yes, it is. It is very interesting how the mind works, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> yeah, because Laura, if you were here with me now, I I wouldn't, I only, if people are talking to me, I only pick up probably about um, two or three words in their sentence and I try and make, um, you know, I, I, I make sense of what people are saying, but it, it is quite exhausting. But um, I don't find this way of communicating as exhausting. It's amazing. Oh, Brooke says she wants to see the dolls, please. Of course, of course. I'm only here just sticking and gluing now. 
I'm going to be doing some gluing for joy in a minute. <laughs> Let me see. Oh, then, oh, I left them outside the kit. The half made ones are. <laughs> oh, look. <laughs> Here she is, Brooke. Because our lovely Beth Shula was making paper dolls. She does those so beautifully. Do you recognise this fabric, Brooke? You sent me that in the slow stitch kit, didn't you? This was from Mel Joy. Oh, <laughs> she's got buttons and a petticoat and a little pocket. <laughs> oh, for you, it's the same, Janet. Oh, what, what's the same, Mum and Mrs. Gigi? Mm, tap in again because um, you do recognise that fabric and this some um, bedspread fabric too. <laughs> oh, so yes, happily stitching away. I showed Anne because we were on a FaceTime, a Facebook room with Aunt Bex and she popped it up on her Facebook group the other day and um oh vase how lovely and I was no I've lost my train of thought altogether um oh yes I was anyway I was we had a lovely time whatever my thread was going to be <laughs> it must have been something to do with talking to lovely Anne <laughs> and Aunt Bex mm. <laughs> and she, I like the legs they're cute aren't they the way the little legs go I know <laughs> I know, they're so sweet. It's nice to have something that makes you giggle, isn't it, in life? <laughs> oh, look. Here's that, Mrs. Gigi. It's Paddington Bear all dressed up. <laughs> that is so cute. That should go with the Christmas stuff, shouldn't it? <laughs> I've got, oh, lovely. Oh, windows. How lovely. So I'm going to pour some joy into this little mini journal and then we'll put some positive quotes in it next week. Let, if you've just come in, let's do a positive quote. Hold on, I'll close my eyes. <laughs> um, character. Character is a person's only real possession. That's amazing. These are all from last week. Character is a person's only real possession. Incredible. Don't use these scissors on paper, Janet. They belong in the slow stitch kit. Yes, Brooke. <laughs> oh, you're back, Anne. I started to talk about something and then, oh, I just lost my thread. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, a lovely arch shape windows i love putting windows in and doors in things because they lead you through don't they i might make this into a little house i'm doing some gluing for joy no rhyme or reason just anything that just comes to my hands i shall just glue down <laughs> Ah, how lovely. And you'll see me doing a little bit of not so fussy cutting. I'm not that precise, I'm afraid. <laughs> this is a nice picture to put in a positive quote journal. A little pile of books. So we might want to read those books or we might want to... I'm just going to put them anywhere. Might want to read the books, or we might even want to cut them up and make a journal out of them. So we love vintagey looking books. 
Oh, Becky was working on her jacket, wasn't she? Yes, yes. It was on her Facebook group. Mm. Oh, Peggy's listening while she watches the birds on the feeder. Oh, that's so relaxing, Peggy. So relaxing. For someone who doesn't like fussy cutting, I've got some very small images in here. Oh, no, Sharon, I love cat cats because there's a chance that I will read it. Oh, I love it when people type in caps. Mm. Now, every time I use a window or a door, I will think of you. <laughs> oh, our brains do work like that, Letty, though, don't they? Yes, I know. You've got a picture in your mind. Oh, I love this one. A little picnic blanket with a cup and a flask. Oh, hopefully we'll be able to do that soon, Ben when we meet up in the park. Hopefully we'll be coming out of our, our lockdown. You never know. Oh, make a pocket. Let's do that. Let's make a corner tuck pocket. How lovely. Have I got I done more in this little journal than I thought? Maybe Christmas came and then... Will that make a corner pocket? No. Oh, don't know quite how to. I'll just put it in there and I'll pick something else. We don't want to think too much, do we? Oh, another window. Oh, I love that. Oh, let's cut that out. How lovely. There. Um, I think I might put it on this little house that I'm creating here. <laughs> purple finches. You want to see purple? Oh, Doreen, some. Oh, Peggy says you have several dozen of oh hen um, um, doves. Oh, how lovely! And then now someone I've missed who it was. Have purple finches. Oh gosh, we don't have those here. Yes, Dorinda, I'm with you. I want to see purple finch. I'm going to look that up online. I'm going to see those virtually later. Oh yes, definitely. Purple finches. Oh wow. Gosh. Finches. But fingers. Purple finches, yes. <laughs> You have finches, sparrows, nuthatch, red-headed woodpeckers, cardinals, blue jays, thrushes and doves. Oh, how wonderful. And I'm reading that out just in case there's some people in the background just listening to us here. I wonder whether Caroline's with us. Caroline, you might be there and... You can't read the chat. It, it just goes by too quickly and it means popping our glasses on and not being able to fall to sleep, doesn't it? So I, I, I like to read it out for the people that are gently listening in the background. I just made a little tab. <laughs> oh, small parrots escape from JFK. That's an air. Airport. Hmm. Your your snow is still up. Oh, your snow's still up. So, oh yeah, Brooke. I am yes, because we have signs of spring. Yes, I'm very aware that you've had such bad weather. Gosh, you're keeping warm and safe inside. I would imagine. Mm. Violet, good morning. Oh, Violet, nip over to Facebook page or Instagram. And if you're, um, say, our lovely Barb from Canada, you're not on that, but I can show you pictures. I can email you some because our Violet crocheted, this is my mini journal that I'm making. 
the one that Violet crocheted is like an inchy. Has anybody seen that on, on Facebook this morning? It's crochet cover and coffee dyed pages with tags and crocheted signatures. It is absolutely adorable, Violet. It's amazing. Mm. Oh, good, Brooke. You're you're safe and warm. You're not. You're no sh no snow shoveling and yeah yeah yeah. Oh, actually, Brooke, how is Hubby's back? Because I I realise it's been very slow progress for him. The healing process has been very slow. Ah, oh, Janet, yes, you've made about forty so far. You've been head down, hands busy, making the mini oh, doilies and putting them in journals. Um, maybe that said digis, I'm not sure. Or, yeah, but th they're little mini. Oh, absolutely, absolutely adorable. That's a lot, isn't it? <laughs> Oh, look at that. Rain. Laura's sending rainbows to the people that are just coming in. And Suze, good morning. Oh, I'm so glad that you're saying hello to people because I think I missed you, Suze, when you came in. And that's the last thing I want to do is to miss people. I really don't. <laughs> so that's this is what I'm going to be working on today, this week, so I can take this tin wherever I go. Pop the glue stick in. Oh, look, okay. This is Janet's mini journal kit to go. <laughs> I'll put the tin, and I can take that anywhere I go. Oh. Now, what does BSD mean? Does it mean that your hands are sore because of your fibro today? Um, dear Suze, oh, I'm so sorry if you are having one of those horrible, horrible days. I hope there's some meds you can take and we are here to keep you company, Suze. And just at snack time, here comes Beth, just in time for snack time. <laughs> Oh, Beth, come on in. You, Beth, have inspired what I've been making this week. I'll show you. I will just get snack time. Snack, we get, get snack time ready. I'm surprised Freddie isn't sat up. He's so comfy in this chair. Thank you for encouraging me to do this chair, everybody. I know you look after Freddie. <laughs> oh, it's Freddie. Is it snack time, Freddie? Is it? <laughs> Let's just show Beth what we've been doing. <laughs> oh, here we are. Yes, if I if I move away from the cam camera and I miss someone, um. Nudge me. <laughs> yes, snack time, Kimberly. What, what have you got today, Kimberly? I made my dolls like you, Beth, but I didn't make them in paper. I made them in fabric, Beth. <laughs> so I would like to say, look at the dingly dangly legs. I would like to say thank you. Mm. Why are they called rock cakes or rock buns? Well, do you know, I don't know because it's not something that a lot of UK people know. I, I have these because my mum used to make them. Um, it's just a very, it, it's a very basic cake. It's only one egg and it's got more flour in it than anything else. Um, for the economy of it, and they're <laughs> maybe that was because they're like rocks. But when you break them open, Violet, the recipe's in the description below. 
And if you can't follow it, just message me and I will help you. But inside, it's not, it's quite cakey inside, but not spongy, but not as hard as a scone. And if Ben was in the chat now, he'd be saying, oh, <laughs> they're his favourite. They look like little rocks, don't they? And they, oh, Melanie, did your mum used to make rock cakes? They are a great um, economy thing. They only use one egg. So they're a great way to fill a family for tea time. Traditionally, in, in um, my little family, Ben and Sam, and, um, I used to make them on a snow day when we came home from the snow. Then, you know, you can have hot baking in the background. Deb, hi. Welcome, welcome. Oh, you're just in time for snack time too. Pull up a chair. We're all just chatting away together. Pull up a chair and we're just chatting away. And have, we're having our snack time. And then we'll get back down to doing some more craft. Oh, I do promise we will. <laughs> oh. Okay, thank you, Janet. Um, says Violet. You will have to get some dried cranberries. Oh, that would be nice. Oh, lovely. And if you have trouble with the recipe, just let me know. Mm. And cholesterol conscious. Yes. I've actually put butter in the description below, but I actually use an olive oil spread. That a little bit more health conscious. And I've used gluten free flour. Too. and not not as much sugar as well so they have got sugar in them but not as much as a not really my mum used to make bread pudding or fairy cakes with raisins in oh yes and also yummy apple pie oh yes yes that brings back memories doesn't it Melanie mm. when you are able to come over and craft I'm going to try and make that seed cake because I know that brings back memories. Mm. Dunk. Oh, did Roy say about dunking? Well, it's funny you should say that because I didn't know whether I should, but I do dunk mine like I would a biscuit. And when I say biscuit, I mean cookie. <laughs> but that's probably because I'm, you know, oh, I'm, uh, I'm just not very sophisticated. <laughs> If you were to go to tea with the queens, this is what I always used to say to the boys, don't dunk your biscuits, you know. Um, actually, maybe the queen does dunk, dunk her biscuits. I'm not sure. Now, Reddy's licking his lips. There we are. Cheryl, I'm giving, um, giving Freddie his snack. This one's from Cheryl. Yeah, that one's from Cheryl. Yeah, <laughs> we're in the routine now, aren't we? <laughs> Here we are. There. Have you noticed, Melanie, I've had to drag a chair in from the living room because the other chair wasn't big enough for, for Freddie. <laughs> oh, dear. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, you love to dunk bread or biscuits in your soup. Oh, me too. Oh, I used to, when I was little, have um, bread in my soup, floating in my soup, and we called it ducks, little ducks, and I did that with the boys. Oh, thanks, Beth. <laughs> we, we, Violet, we're just not very sophisticated, are we? <laughs> ah. Bigger chair land, yes. <laughs> yeah, you, the things we do for our fur babies. That's sort of moving the furniture yesterday. So, yes, I will dunk it because not for too long. But, mm, mm, oh, that is really nice. <laughs> mm, mm, oh, that is really nice. Mm, because I don't want to be munching all the time. I will have to leave the rest till later. <laughs> Freddie got a promotion, yes. 
he got a promotion to oh bless him he's not interested in that cake he's a meat man he likes meat and fish <laughs> hmm. does he need a pillow um does he i've got a cushion up there not quite he's even big on that isn't isn't he if he's really tidy he can curl in a ball on that chair oh no Cheryl, I'll be having to bring the seti in here for next week. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, Gail, Gail Ann says she has no shame either. I'm doing it live, though. <laughs> now, you know, I've got no secrets. I dunk. <laughs> dunk my biscuits. <laughs> oh. oh. Dorinda says, what's a fairy cake? Oh, it's it's a, a, a sponge, lovely light sponge. And you put it in um, a, a, a paper cake case, smaller than a muffin, lighter than a muffin. <laughs> um, I could make fairy cakes for next week. <laughs> oh, I'll make them next week. I'll put it down. I always say that, but then... When I cook, I think when I cook, I cook for joy as well. I, I, I just like to cook what I want to cook, really. <laughs> I say I'm going to do fairy cakes, but it's just what I feel like doing. It's a little bit like a hobby. <laughs> I just felt like making rock cakes today. <laughs> Dorinda just needed to know. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear oh mm, it's probably just got a little bit of fairy dust in yes probably yeah probably <laughs> oh I should have fairy cakes because I am some people's fairy godmother aren't I <laughs> what I didn't show you last week this is cinnamon tea by the way hmm it's in my Janet UK mug. That's just in case I forget who I am. Just in case I think I might be Janet USA. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you, Melanie, <laughs> for my mug. <laughs> yes, I think this stream should have fairy cakes every week. <laughs> oh. Your grandson just ran up to Papa and said, Happy birthday. And gave him a big hug. Oh, Nettie, that is so lovely. Is it your husband's birthday today, Nettie? Oh, don't they melt your heart? Oh, our children and our and our pets. Oh, they oh they are lovely. Oh, Brooke says, don't worry. No, I have to have a disclaimer next week, Brooke. But don't worry, no fairies were harmed in the making of these fairy cakes. I will put a disclaimer. Don't worry. Ah, <laughs> uh, oh, me too, Sharon. I made some. I'm very American. I made some coffee cinnamon cinnamon coffee um, syrup with sugar and water and cinnamon sticks last week. I made some for Katie. Don't tell Katie, Katie Cat, my niece. I'm going to send that to her. And I made some for Sam for his birthday. <laughs> oh, now, these are what lovely Aunt Beck sent me when she sent the painty paper postcard. And I forgot to show you. Aren't they amazing? When, when um, Aunt Bex does her art, she scans them, makes them different sizes, and then has a sticker machine and makes them into stickers. Isn't that amazing? Um, oh, hold on. Are you making cake for your... For the birthday for your husband today, Nettie. Yes, look, they come away like stickers. Oh, so thank you, Aunt Bex. I will be using these. I'll be using these with joy. <laughs> I really will. Oh, Mary Beth. Oh, 
Am I pleased to see you, Mary Beth, for two reasons. You came into my chat, not last week, the week before, and on when I was reviewing my chat, you were chatting away to everybody for most of the, st the stream. And did I acknowledge you once? No. <laughs> oh, dear. I don't know. I need fairies to come and clean my house. Yes, Cathy. <laughs> so welcome, Mary Beth. And the other thing I want to say, because I haven't seen you last week very much, or if at all, and I was just thinking, I hope you're okay. And with all the power outs that people have been having in the snow, I was hoping that you were fine. And I did look up on Facebook, but I couldn't find a Mary Beth to send you a message to say, how are you? <laughs> Cinnamon settles the stomach. Oh, how interesting, Cheryl. Oh, I'm, I'm so American. I have cinnamon in everything. Love it. Mm. <laughs> so, thank you, Beth, dear. So, I, our lovely Beth in her group organised a swap. It was a swap like we've had sometimes where you just sort it out amongst yourself. You're allocated a partner and then you message your partner. Now, I communicated with my partner on Instagram and her name is Katie. And she sent me lovely, lovely happy mail. How lovely. It was a happy mail swap. And this, ha this mail really did make me happy. <laughs> it really did. Hmm. Oh, Dorinda says, she always says, those darn kitchen fairies miss cleaning my kitchen again. Do you know, they, they do miss things around here a lot. I don't know. Come on, Flo. You should, you should get the, um, the cleaners to come. <laughs> oh, there's Mary Beth. So, Mary Beth, I do hope all is well with you. You've, you've had a lot of snow. Yeah, I do hope you're okay and all snuggly and warm inside yeah when I opened the envelope I literally went <gasps> because look how bright that is isn't that delightful so Katie if you are watching um thank you thank you very much I'm not quite sure this is the right time zone for you or whether you will watch on catch up and I have a wooden heart to do with what I will. How lovely. So thank you, Katie. <laughs> oh, okay. You're doing clothes. You're doing sorting out the washing and everything, Angie. Oh, thank you. Isn't it, Violet? It's a handmade card. I love handmade cards made with love. And thank you, Katie. It's got some wonderful components on it, hasn't it? I love that. Thank you. I should put that there too. So, what are we doing? We are doing our journaling by fives. And we're on the last one. Actually, I think I need a comfort break. So, I am going to put Irene's lovely little scrappy bird there. And maybe I'll just put. One of my little dolls there. <laughs> oh, we've got some lovely things. Oh, and maybe a picture from Melanie. Just for you to look at while I just go for a comfort break. Um, would you? Oh, I'll just put that up there just in case you're tempted, darling. Freddie, would you look after everybody, darling, while I'm away? You wait there, darling.
Yeah. The girls want to know, do you want a cushion behind you? No, are you comfy? No, you don't. I don't think you do. You're right. <laughs> there we are. Ah, oh, look, Barbara's singing while I've gone. Oh, I hope you've been behaving. <laughs> Sing as a tune while you're waiting. There we are. Ah, there. Hang Irene's little bird up. So, we're doing a journaling by fives. Let's see if we can get you in the camera. Yes, I think you can see enough. You want to see Freddie, don't you? So, today, we are... So, the journaling by fives, if you hadn't... It's 20 pages in 15 minutes. And... I haven't got a lot on any some of the pages, but at least I did it. And I have had such fun. This all came from, ooh, look, Laura, my pens. It's always nice to see other people's pen collection, isn't it? Let's see if that stands up. What fun. And I've got some other pens in here. It doesn't stand up. That's those. I've got some other pens in here. Some Posca pens. And then I've got these ones that Laura had. So let's see if I can open these. I'm going to open them. Oh, and I'm going to do my challenge. So today I have done, it's the doodling stage. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Comfort break. I thought that. That's what some people in America say, comfort break. I'd probably, I'd probably more likely just say, oh, I need the loo. <laughs> that was trying to be polite, Laura. <laughs> oh, dear. Hmm. <laughs> oh. oh, I like those fairies. Oh, Erin, I can't. I can't, oh, I'm, Ben, my phone needs updating. <laughs> I can't do emojis on mine either, Erin. <laughs> I love those fairies. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you, Sharon just says she has to pee. I think we just say it like it is. Yeah, just say it like it is. So these pages after today will just be like a little jumping off point so I can take this wherever I go with some pens and continue to doodle and probably do some more painting in them because they're a little bit lacking in some places but there we are so when you're so I'm at the doodling stage today so so exciting it's, it, so I just need somebody to tell me to go and off I'm going to go. Where's my black? Oh, no, my white. Oh, I've got a white there. So I, when you tell me to go, I will go. And you can, if so, oh, Beth says go. And are you going to time me for, going to time me for, 15 minutes, please. Now, this is a white gel pen, an Arteza white gel pen. And this is what um, Ali gave me. And Aunt Bex says, don't press too hard with a gel pen. Beth, do you recognise this picture? You sent me this. The reason I love this is because I am just going to be I'm going to put a frame around this. Coming back into here and 
doodling away. I've got a frame there. So this is just going to give you an idea. I'm going to be coming in here and doing loads more doodling. I'm loving it. This page, oh, doesn't this need more? Uh, what I'm going to do, I don't know. I'm just, oh, I'm just literally, I don't know. You would have thought I could have thought about this before. But um, definitely need something. These are like, what are these pens? If someone can say in the chat. She's a power woman. Thank you. And she's going to have a lot more doodle on her. This is just a little start. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's good. I'm just literally going to be doing some of these. Oh, Kathy B said you've got to come walk the dog. I could, like, yeah. I don't think I'd get away with that, though, Sharon, would I? Because people could see, well, I, I don't think so, Janet, because he's there. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> courage. Oh, that's a lovely word. Do you want me to write courage on here? Okay, yes. I need a thick pen or a pen that works. I'll, I'll go with anything. Courage. Oh, how lovely. Does that work? A bit faint, but courage. Oh, how lovely. Thank you. We can do the words, and I'm loving that. I'm loving that. Thank you. It's not it's not easy for you to see, but I realize that you'd far rather be with C Freddy than me. Of course, I'll be going round and doing more doodling. Oh, look at this. This this page says simply. Simply delightful, and look, there are some some lovely uh, fresco dining going on here. These pens are Amazon's own, like gelatos. Here's the Laura had them. They're on Amazon. Gorgeous, and they will later on if I want to. I can come in with a brush and move these colours as well. How lovely. This page is quite nice. Obviously, I can do more. Oh, isn't it funny how I'm using these more than anything? They seem to work quite well. I'm just framing this. I will be doing a lot more doodling on these. Oh, gosh. Gorgeous. Oh, lovely. And I'm not reading chat that well. But I will if you're saying anything very important to me as well. Oh, Rain Girl, hi. Oh, don't let me miss anybody, though. Mm. 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 I shall. Oh, oh, now this is my Sophia page. This seriously needs more colour on it. I'm going to start by putting some more. Definitely inspired by Sophia and her, on one of her videos where she was showing her journal, she'd used one of her fabric appliques. Do you call these? This page is going to have a lot more colour and it is going to have, because I'm only starting this today, I do have gold, is that, but I'm not quite sure where my gold pen is. You'd think I could have sorted that out for doing this because gold's such a, an amazing colour to have. Oh, oh well. Take it from me, this page is going to have quite a lot of gold on it. Hmm. 
take a little bit of time, Janet, to find your goal, maybe. Is there's a goal. Well, it we're gonna have a lot more than that. I can when I come back, I can copy some of these shapes I can see here. I'm gonna have fun, just fun doing doing more and more doodling on this. You can imagine this would be brilliant to put on your lap. I think these pages are just meant to be just to start you off, really. Oh, how lovely. Now, the reason I thought this black would be so nice, let's put a, a black border around, doodle a black border. Have I ever used the black one? Like that. And next week, I will show you these pages more because I will be doing more doodling. But I won't finish them because I like to have things like this set up for me. Because if I'm feeling a little bit not that, not that inspired, having a little bit of a blank day or a little bit of a low day, I could just pick this up and some pens or take it with me somewhere and just have a little doodle. I thought on those black dots, be lovely. Yeah. And where are we? I seem to be using these. Let me use some other things because... It's nice for people to see me use other things. This is my marmalade, and I am going to stick a picture of Paddington on my marmalade. Sorry, this is not very good doodling, is it? What can I doodle on here? I'm just making a frame for the minute. No, I don't want to doodle anymore on that. Oh, look at this one. Let it go by my lovely friend Cheryl B. Now, in here, I've got something else I can doodle with. I've got um, a pencil. So I'm just going to go around, around the outside with my pencil. Oh, let it go. Isn't that amazing? And these are great for going round the put some corners. You can hear that bib, that's my um any lines or dots are doodles. Yes, lines or dots, or yes, absolutely. It's just I'm just sort of like oh, just doing some big stitching now. You'll probably find, just as the 15 minutes are up, I'll just, you know, I'll get into the flow. Isn't that always the way? Other colours here? i tell you what would look nice on top of that is silver. Let's see if the silver works, shall we? Thank you. Glitter around the balloons. Oh, glitter would be gorgeous. I could put, I've got some stays on. Thank you, Beth. I will do that when it's not so squishy I can do that in the week definitely oh how lovely and this has got swirly patterns in from the, the stencil so I can make some swirly patterns if I'm missing your advice don't worry I will look at it when I review the chat some swirly silver. Ah, oh, glitter. I can wear it later. Yes, yes, I can. Oh, how lovely. Just literally. Oh, lovely. So 
See, now I'm really getting in the zone now. Hmm. I think it helps if you've got the right pen, doesn't it? The gold pen was, I, I think the gold one of these has run out. Sam bought me these pens. Well, I better go on if I'm going to, oh, look at this one. It says, welcome. How wonderful. Let's choose another one of those pens because they work beautifully well. How lovely. How lovely. Some stitching doodles and how lovely. You look. Welcome. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? Oh, now I really am just doing. Oh, wow. Welcome. Oh, how lovely. And oh, now this needs some, this needs some pink. Here we are. Just seem to be just putting borders around things for the minute. This has got some lovely silver in it, but you're right. I, I've got this stays on. I've got that one and I've got this very old one. Still works, silver. So I will be doing that later. Mm. Mm. Ooh, I'm just going to go over these dots like this. Ooh, they're lovely. Mm. Oh, and of course, I'm going to be coming in later and moving all this colour with my water brush. I will show you next week. Mm, let's put some green in. Ooh, I could actually, oh, could I do it live next week? What would you like me to do next week in this little segment where we've been playing this JB5s? Because I've enjoyed playing this game with you. I'm wondering whether others have been joining in. I don't know. Um, I wondered, would you like to do like a little, um, I'm just making a candle here. I can't do candles and talk at the same time. <laughs> would you like to do a little ATC? Made a candle in a minute. I will go over, say in that, and um, yeah. I'm just doing some little candles here. Um, should we do like a little, make some ATCs together? A little prompt game maybe, where we don't spend too long on it, but we make some ATCs, maybe with five prompts, a five prompt ATCs. Oh. You need to do laundry, but it's too cold in the basement. Ooh, you don't want to go down there. I don't blame you. Oh, I do apologise because I literally have been missing a lot of the chat. I love to know what you guys are up, up to. These are my candles, and I'm going to go in there later with the flames. <laughs> what am I like? What are these candles like? <laughs> There you go. Well, I've done them. I've done them. Ah, Alison, hi. Anne says that would be fun. Well, Anne, let's do that. Oh, I've got some circles here. So I'm going to doodle some circles. What pen am I going to use? This is a lovely colour. The minute I'm going to doodle around these. Yes, let's the last segment of our little time together that we have, we will do five prompt ATCs. I'll make some prompt cards up and we just need some ATC bases. Yeah, lovely. And we can keep one of our um, ATCs and send the other or keep both of them. Do your own thing, chicken wings. Ooh, I'm loving this. 
Oh, and I, oh, do you know I'm having so much fun? I'm not looking to see how long have I got? How long have I got? So nice to see you, Alison. So glad you could pop in. Now, are we going to Rebecca's today? Our lovely Rebecca has been off. Oh, Nitty, you think that sounds like fun? Oh, good. Five prompt ATCs. It's just a little something. And the thing with the five prompt, like this, is you can just add and embellish to your heart's content later. Basically, I've been doodling. I've just been framing things, haven't I? But that's fine. That's fine. Just a little bit. Let, uh, oh, was I up? Oh, time's up. Oh, okay. Oh, I was a lot slower on that one. I was a lot slower. Isn't that interesting? Oh, after all that time. Yes. Oh, how interesting. Yeah. Fascinating. I will keep going a little bit, but that was it. So how many did I? I had one, two, three, four, five. Five, five to go. So I did 15. <laughs> oh. Oh. Is Becca okay? Do we know how Becca is? I was in my happy place. I was actually. Uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, phone's going. Yeah, yeah. Drinda will be right back. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Sheila, hi. Hi, come on in. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm so glad. Come and join us. Do you know, we we have had, uh, I'm going to do, if you don't mind, I will just do the other five pages just as we chat. And we're just winding up here. Um, I'm so glad that you found us and came in. We just come and have a little chat. Come and have a little sit down and a little chat with us. Um, just to start, just we're just starting the week off, really. You can see I love these. So it's probably time for you to pop the number in the chat now. So when I say go, we need a number between one and a hundred and um there's Freddie. Even now that chair's not big enough really, is it? Goodness sake. <laughs> I need a smaller dog. <laughs> so yeah, I'll say go, pop a number in, it has to be on or under, nearest under. Mm. Oh, you! Oh, but that's lovely, isn't it, Roy? You were phoning your daughter. That's so lovely. I'm glad. Oh, Asa says she hasn't heard from Rebecca today, and so you don't know whether she's going live or not. Well, um, this is a good time to say, um, Gail Ann will remind us again later. We'll we'll meet up again later. At Liz's, I probably won't be able to stay up that long because for me it's midnight or half past midnight and I'm just not getting to stay up that late. But I watch replay as soon as I awake in the morning. So it's our lovely Lizzie. Oh, look at that. All oh, numbers. Oh, I'm loving that. Brilliant. Ah, numbers are coming. I'm loving that. Mm. Good, good, good. Um, let's get random number up. Yes, it's our lovely Lizzie. And we will try and go to Rebecca's after this because sometimes she's on at four. Um, but she's had terrible trouble in. Um... Yeah, hasn't she? Gosh, in Texas. Yeah. If, if, um, if you know that people have been here and and not in the chat now. You can pop, them, pop a number in for someone else as well. If someone was here earlier and they just had to nip off. Yeah. 
Oh, lovely. Numbers coming. I'm loving that. And don't worry if there are doubles or there's like a confusion. Don't worry, because I can always send two out. Oh, but Janet, Janet's um, helping me out there. Thank you, Janet USA. Oh, you're so kind. <laughs> the numbers are still coming in. And of course, I have a lag. I would like to thank you for being with me while I do these journaling by five pages. Now, I think they probably look a bit scrappy and a bit, but to me, they're always going to have such fond memory, memories because I did them with you and, and you're in the chat saying to me, oh, you know, you've got one more minute, one more minute. It's, yeah, yeah. They're going to have lovely memories for me and I'm going to be working on them this week and I will show you, but I think, for me, I like to have artwork and sewing and knitting that isn't finished because I can do it later. Oh, lovely. You're sorting yourselves out. Mm. Oh, your mum was checking in. Oh, pop a number in, Dorinda, dear. Oh. <laughs> I need to go. I need to go and phone my dad, actually, Dorinda, when this is finished. <laughs> So, shall I say stop? Oh, Gail's on the phone to her daughter. There's a lot of that going on at the moment. Yes, being on the phone with people and keeping people company, isn't there? Yes, yeah. Lots of checking in. Ah. Mm. Ah, oh, Mary, hi. Hi, so nice to see you. Yeah, yeah, I do. Well, say I look at this. I look at these this picture and I think, oh, I did this. I did this, especially in this book. They bring back such memories of me doing them with with you. I did this one, and it this it says joy, and this brings me so much joy because I did this in one of our little games at the end of the stream. Right, shall I pick a number now? Oh, Melissa, you love to do artwork. I know, and you like your glue book. Oh, Melissa, that's so lovely. Right, let's, I've got random org. I'm going to generate a number. And the number is 74. Um, so if you could help me out and tell me who is nearest. Oh, you loved your, you love your colour pencils. I'm not surprised, Teresa. I loved your art. I really did. Oh. I think I find Beth such a brave soul because, um, wow, doing a horse. And, wow, you did it. It was fantastic. And, wow, lovely. You've got a lot of courage. Hmm. Oh, Roy has 73. There we are. Roy has 73. Lovely. Super. Super. Let me generate another one because I've got two here. Oh, hold on. I've got two. So I'll generate another number and we can... 89. Is anyone nearest to 89? Let's put Roy. Here you go. Is it, I've, I've generated another number because I've actually got two tags here. Um, I can send two out because they're flat and they're light. I've got the stamps. <laughs> Have the stamps, we'll post. So Rain Girl has 81. Oh, how lovely. Now, Rain Girl, you have told me your name before. How can I connect with you, Rain Girl? And I apologise because I'm I, I'm calling you by your stage name. Yes, Ranga. Oh, lovely. So, Ranga, have a little chat with me here and tell me. You're Cindy, and you have told me that before. But now, when I write to you, I will remember. Um, Cindy, how how are you going to give me your address? Um find me on facebook mm. 
And as Gail saying, she hopes to see us all at Lizzie's tonight, 7.30. And if you're in the UK or in Sweden or other, other places in the world, don't worry, you can catch up tomorrow. Oh, yes. <laughs> we will. And wasn't that lovely to see? Wasn't that lovely to see the video of um, Lizzie and Papa on Papa's birthday? Wasn't that lovely? And these little Beth-inspired dolls will be f flying their way over to America. I'm presuming that um, I'm presuming that. Um, Cindy, rain girl, is in America. Oh, okay, Cindy, I can find you there. Yes, my, yeah, yeah, I can find you there. Let me write that down. Super. Oh, yes, fantastic. I will find your address and I will, I will message you, yes. <laughs> so, all that I have to say now is, let's have another positive quote, shall we? Oh, thank you. Thank you, Sheila. I've just been, Beth made hers out of paper. And I was, I've been snipping away with little bits of fabric. Same thing. Absolutely same thing. It's not nothing yet. <laughs> oh, absolute, pre absolute pleasure, Cindy. Absolute pleasure. Mm. So. Let me let me do a I'm going to do a random positive quote. These are all from you last week. Mm. Oh, while you're all saying your goodbyes. <laughs> Gonna go like this. Right. Oh, this isn't this is good. You are amazing just the way you are. Can you remember who said that? Hi, 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 MOJ on air. Hi. <laughs> Can you remember who said that last week? You are amazing, just the way you are. And until I meet you again in all the chats and back here again next Monday, keep safe and look after yourselves. Be kind to yourselves. And, um, do a bit of art if you want to. Bye-bye, <laughs> everybody. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, look at Freddie. He's yawning. Has it been exhausting today for you? Yeah, looking after everybody. If you had an exhausting time, I'm going over to Rebecca's to see if she's on now. So goodbye, everybody. Thank you. Oh, yes. Love to all. Yes. Yes. Oh, and have a good day. Oh, Renee. Oh, so nice to see you. Oh, yes. Do have a good day, everybody. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh.